Cummings. Hi, I'm um, Gretchen Cummings, but I usually go by Grace because it's a more common name. Um, I'm 13 years old. I'm an only child, and um, it's pretty rough not having any siblings considering that, I mean, I only have my mom. I lost my dad when I was seven years old, but I use that as motivation to achieve my future goals and things like that. Um, some of my future goals are attending DuPont Manual High School, and from there I would like to attend Missouri University Journalism and Communications program. Um, after that, I would like to move to New York and work as a journalist at Vanity Fair in the World Issues. Um, currently, I'm a cheerleader, volleyball player. I founded and, and, and am co-editor-in-chief of the journalism like program, the newsletter thing here. And then also, I'm going to be a soccer player again this year, as I was last year. Um, I'm a student ambassador, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, as for academics, I am in all AP classes. Also, I'm an MST student, and I take my classes very seriously. It may not seem like it because I do miss a lot of school, but that has a lot to do with like my mental health, but this year I feel very proud of myself because I've like exceeded and I feel like I have improved on myself instead of focusing on others. Um, okay, that's like about me. Um, for my math growth, sixth and seventh grade year, sixth year was a really, really rough year for me. Um, and I don't have the math scores with me, but I'm pretty for sure that they do show that and they reflect off of me. Seventh grade year, at the beginning of the year, still rough, but I set my game up towards the end of the year. Going into eighth grade, I had that mindset, okay, this year I'm going to be the best of the best. I want to get in a manual, so I have to do whatever I can. And I feel as though my math scores reflect off that. In reading, for fall, I got a 227, and in winter, I got a 236. So I went up almost 10 points, nine points. Um, for math, I do struggle a little bit in math because it's a more complex thinking. Not that I don't have that, it's just, it just takes a little longer for me to comprehend. Um, I got a 230 and then in fall, and then in winter I got a 232. So I did grow, but I didn't grow as much as I wanted to. Um, and I feel like those really reflect on what kind of student I am because it did show them both that I did have growth even though it was only a very little bit. Um, for literacy and numeracy, for literacy, I picked a Free Write Friday, which we do in our language arts class every Friday. And I took this opportunity to voice my opinion on the school system and how we should have more hands-on learning other than here's a Chromebook, answer some questions, do a little research. Um, I felt as though this was a good thing to put my literacy because I used research, even though it was a 20-minute project, I used research, I used my critical thinking, and I put myself in a position of like how the education system like thinks. Um, so I use that to voice my opinion. Um, for numeracy, I picked Miss Collins' class. It was the Raspberry Pi project. It was a very complex project, I would say. Um, we were the first students to actually do this, so we were still trying to figure out the process and how the Raspberry Pi really works. And my group, um, we have the video, but there's kind of some difficulties, it doesn't really work. But we had to go through, this is a picture of me and my like, group working. We had to go through and find code to not hack the system, but kind of do that. And we had to recode the whole Raspberry Pi to um, record our Minecraft view of the school. And what we did was we went on many, many different sites and we had to find different codes and systems. We couldn't just take one. There wasn't any instructions for it, so we kind of had to make our <coughs> own. And I feel as though that really reflects um, 
on numeracy because there was a lot of coding involved. Um, for go globally and culturally competent citizen, emerging innovator, and effective communicator, I use the Veterans Day proposal. Um, this was a very close subject for me because my grandfather has disabilities from being a tank um, instructor in the military for 17 years and he does him and my grandmother do like struggle with like money and things like that so um, even though he is a retired veteran he still doesn't receive as much money as he needs for his disability and hospital bills and things like that so I took the chance to <coughs> talk about maybe a food job for every Sunday of every month to allow veterans to come and gather food so that they have it throughout the month and they don't go hungry. Um, I felt as though that was something really good because it did show that I was thinking as an effective communicator how it will help the community and it shows that I found a way that um, it would like could progress instead of just stay in, in one thing. Um, for productive collaborator and prepared and resilient learner, I chose the Fright Fair project. This project was really fun, I would say. And um, we have a video of the presentation. It's kind of long. I would show it, but I want to move on. Um, with this project, me and my partner Paige received a 100% score on our um, poster for our presentation speech in class. We only got a 96, but eventually we grew from that to 100% because we did enter the actual Fright Fair. From there, there's my reflection. Um, I would say that I did pretty well on it, actually. Um, we, went, we went into a really deep details of trying to find a different way to explain the Bermuda Triangle, because I mean, it's supernatural, so not everybody's gonna believe it, but I feel as though our listeners kind of believed as we did because we had so much background knowledge. We wrote four articles on it, and then we only used four sources, but they were eye-openers. Like, we used a Bible source, and that really isn't something that you would use in school, but it reflected onto the project, so it kind of related to some people because some people do believe in that while others don't, but it does make sense to them. Um, and that's basically it.